Hey Beat Saber Jedi, since Quest 2 is one of the most popular Christmas gifts this year and Beat Saber is one of the most popular VR games, I thought I would create an updated video tutorial explaining how you can mod your Beat Saber with all kinds of cool mods, such as Trick Saber, which lets you send your sabers away and do some cool tricks with them, Slice Visualizer, which helps you see how well you are slicing the blocks, Cosmetics, of course, for custom models, and finally, Noodle Extensions, which is one of the most requested mods for Quest 2 allowing you to download absolutely mind-blowing custom maps. You've got to try it. I made a separate video about Noodle Extensions mod linked here in the corner and in the description below. And in this video, I will show you the general process of installing any mods on your Quest or Quest 2. Because new updates to Beat Saber may release at any moment, the modding process may change as well. So before you go on, please make sure to check the pinned comment section. If there are any changes to what is described in this video, all the changes will be listed there. This tutorial was approved by the Beat Saber modding community, so please follow every step closely. If you have any questions regarding the modding process, please join the Beat Saber modding group Discord and ask your questions in the Quest Help channel. That's the official channel for providing support. If you leave a question in the comment section to this video, you will most likely not get an answer, so make sure to join the Discord because you're much more likely to get help there. And finally, you may be asking yourself whether modding Beat Saber is safe, and to answer that, Beat Saber modding has been around since the release of Quest 1, which was over two years ago, and at that time, none of the users has been banned for modding Beat Saber. I know this is a big concern among new users, so I want to mention this early on to give you some peace of mind. There are thousands of users who have been successfully modding their Beat Saber for years without any negative consequences to their accounts, and it's safe to say that it will remain this way. And in this video, we will check out how to mod your Beat Saber with all kinds of of cool stuff. Make sure to follow each step very closely and subscribe to Disco VR for more fun VR content and Beat Saber Modder Community approved tutorials. If you're ready, let's go! To get started, you will need to have purchased your Beat Saber. I hope this goes without saying. Modding your Beat Saber will take three simple steps. Downgrading your Beat Saber to an earlier version, patching your Beat Saber with BMBF, which will make it ready for mods, and finally, installing your mods. We will start with downgrading your Beat Saber. First thing you need to do is uninstall Beat Saber. You may do so directly from your headset. Next, we will need to download and install the downgraded version of Beat Saber. Keep in mind, you won't be able to download it if you haven't purchased Beat Saber on your account, because that would be piracy. Go to oculus.com and log in with your account, which you used to buy Beat Saber. Then head to questmodding.com, then click on how to downgrade tab and scroll down to download the latest available version of Beat Saber, which supports modding. If you're getting an error message, that means that you have not logged in into an Oculus account that owns a copy of Beat Saber. So again, as a measure against piracy, you must be logged in and own the copy of the game. Finally, you will need to sideload the downgraded version of Beat Saber onto your Quest. And there is no better way to sideload VR apps than to use SideQuest. If you don't know what SideQuest is, you're missing out because SideQuest is the largest third-party VR content platform where you can discover thousands of exclusive VR titles and demos that are not yet available on the official Oculus Store and of course sideload different VR apps. If you own a Quest or Quest 2, having SideQuest is a must. But for this tutorial, we will need SideQuest to sideload our downgraded version of Beat Saber. There are just a few steps you need to take to install SideQuest, and they're all described in the official SideQuest tutorial on their new YouTube channel hosted by yours truly. So make sure to stop by and say hi, and of course, follow the steps in that tutorial, and when you are done, come back to this video. Once you have your SideQuest set up and ready to go, and your headset is connected, drag and drop your Beat Saber IPK file here in the top left corner. Alternatively, you can just click on this icon with the arrow down and select the Beat Saber APK file from your computer. Once you are done with this step and your downgraded Beat Saber is installed on your Quest, now is the time to patch your Beat Saber with BMBF, which will allow you to mod the game. And this is where the magic happens. Navigate to the main menu of SideQuest by clicking the globe and then home, 
and search for BMBF. Now we will sideload BMBF onto the headset by clicking on download app. By default, all your sideloaded apps will be stored in your library under unknown sources. So click on the drop down menu, select unknown sources at the very bottom. Open BMBF and follow the instructions in this window. Allow permissions. Step one will be to uninstall your Beat Saber. Don't worry, it'll still keep the files of your downgraded version. Here, click OK. Step two is to patch your Beat Saber. Tap on Patch Beat Saber to start. You will see the log of all the processes of patching. It might take a few minutes and might seem to pause at certain points, but don't worry if it takes a little bit more time. Just sit tight and let it do its thing. And finally, step three will be to reinstall modded version of Beat Saber. Click the Install button and allow the unknown sources prompt that it gives you. Click the Install button again and wait as BMBF installs the modded version of Beat Saber. If the installation states that the package installer isn't responding, simply click Wait. Now you'll see this window that will say that this is an unofficial app and will ask you to restore it. This window shows up automatically whenever there are any changes done to any official app. It does not mean that your account is in danger and you should not restore the game because it will remove the patched version and you won't be able to mod Beat Saber. Make sure you click Close. Congratulations, now you have installed the modded version of your game. If you have previously installed custom songs to your Beat Saber, click on this red button that says Sync, and then you can start the game. When you start the game, you will now see your new downgraded version right here in your footprint, and as a confirmation that your version of the game is patched, you will see the notice board to your right and this song downloader to your left. Check out this tutorial I made earlier explaining how to download custom songs, create playlists, and more. Finally, let's see how we can install different mods on our Beat Saber. From the unknown sources, open BMBF again. Click on the Browser tab and then select Get Mods. This is where you will see the list of all available mods. Feel free to browse through and check out different mods, and this list is being constantly updated. You will see the Noodle extensions right here again. Check out my video on Noodle Extensions mod, which explains how to use it to download some crazy maps on our Beat Saber. In order to install any mod, click on this Download icon, and this mod will be queued, and after that, click on Sync to Headset to see save the changes. You will get the prompt that the mod was successfully installed, and that's pretty much it. But before we proceed, I need to mention that as of today, the current version of the cosmetics mod is unstable and may cause the game to randomly crash. You can still explore this mod, but if you get tired of it, you can remove it by going to the mods tab on the top and disabling this mod. Always keep in mind that certain mods within the list may crash the game. A good practice is to install mods slowly, one by one, playing the game after each mod installation. That way you will ensure that your game doesn't constantly crash and it will make it easier for you to identify which mod may cause crashes. In the next videos I will go through the available mods in more detail, but in the meantime feel free to browse and explore them on your own. And of course, to add the most variety to your Beat Saber, check out my videos on how to add custom songs and how to install the Noodle Extensions mod. Also, feel free to leave the mod recommendations in the video description. Let me and the community know which mods are your favorite. Also, remember to join the Beat Saber modding group Discord with any questions. You're sure to get help there. And remember to check the pinned comment in case there are any changes to the modding process. And of course, give this video a like and subscribe to Disco VR for more fun and informative VR content and for Beat Saber mod approved tutorials. That's it, friends. Thank you so much much for watching, Merry Christmas and Happy Holidays to you all, and as always, Happy Beat Sabering!